Dear student, last some lectures we already explained what is the principle behind the variational principle and we already discussed the problem on ground state of helium atom. In this lecture, I try to explain the ground state of ground state of uh, deuteron deuteron problem using variational principle so you may know what is deuteron deuteron is in a system with one proton one neutron so it's a system of two particle there is no system of two particle one proton plus neutron are both having equal mass almost equal mass so is inside a nucleus the short range force between short range force between you between nuclear particle we can explain or can be described using yukawa potential by yukawa potential What is the cover potential poten is equal to minus V0 e power minus R by beta R by beta where V0 is a constant and beta are constant and Hamiltonian we can represent Hamiltonian can be written as H is equal to minus H cut square by 2 mu del square plus V of R where del square is a Laplacian operator and mu is a proton neutron reduced mass and r is the proton neutron separation so in variational techniques first step we need to choose a trial wave function so in this problem i choosing a trial wave function uh, phi is equal to exponential minus alpha r by beta csr exam they uh, uh, they are asking some question like the same method that they will give the trial wave function you need to find the ground state so we need to apply the variation principle in, in such a problem so the same methodology we are going to use to solve such problem also so uh, please check here so in this trial wave function alpha is a parameter is there that alpha it rate as a variable parameter so you know in variational method we, I need a variational parameter so the alpha itself we consider as a variational parameter also here phi depend only on r so what is the important while choose uh, uh, finding the del square in Hamiltonian we no need to bother about theta part and phi part we need only uh, del square uh, radial portion so what is the del square radial portion 1 by r square d by dr r square t by dr you can find step by step this operator or while differentiating this one you can simplify this operator in this form oh, we can product rule you can apply first and derivative of second first r square so r square r square will cancel so it comes uh, d square by dr square and second derivative of first is become t by dr so instead of finding the del square you can find this uh, operator so both are same so next aim is to find h expectation of here that is equal to with respect to trial wave function so psi h phi so we need to find this denominator phi phi also because we don't sure whether the phi is a normalized or not if it's normalized the denominator become one in the helium atom problem we uh, done uh, because we not find that one because that wave function is normalized we know hydrogen atom problem wave function so that's fine that is one if here we are not sure about whether it is normalized or not so we can find that also so this problem become minus h squared square by 2 mu phi d square by dr square phi minus h squared square by 2 mu phi 2 by r d by dr phi plus phi 
V of R potential port by 5. So here next step on once we are going to find this separate integration for each one. So uh, first of all I find 5 pi. So uh, while integrating theta part and phi part well, 0 to integral it is 0 to t pi uh, the t, uh, sin theta d theta and 0 to 2 pi d phi it's become 4 pi and not bother about it that integration become uh, then remaining 0 to infinity radial part only here while doing this problem I am using a standard integral 0 to infinity x raised to n e power minus x dx is equal to n factorial by a raised to n plus 1. So standard integral I am going to use. So in, in this place instead of x raised to n here r square. So n is square and instead of a here 2 alpha by beta. So using that one I am 4 pi 2 beta q by alpha q so it's by simplifying is become pi beta q by alpha q. so I got a 5 5 so it means it's not normalized one so the next integration phi d square by dr square phi so that's become the 4 pi will be also the and the remaining term is because I need to find second differential of cat uh, 5, uh, I need may get this term as a constant 4 pi beta square, the so integral 0 to beta uh, infinity r square e power minus 2 alpha r by beta dr. Here are the same standard integral I am to use. I find the standard integral, the terms are. 2 factorial and 2 alpha also the same term will come. So while simplifying it's become pi bit. All other terms will cancel. And the third integral that is we you know phi 2 by r d by dr phi it's become 8 pi minus alpha by beta 0 to infinity r exponential minus 2 alpha r by beta the same standard integral I am going to use so standard integral applying c is equal to minus 2 pi beta by alpha and that the last integration term that is the potential term I can substitute uh, that you cover potential you may get an answer like minus 4 pi v0 beta is the 0 to infinity r expansion minus 2 alpha plus 1 r by beta dr. So that's become minus 4 pi c0 beta 2 beta square by 2 alpha plus 1 square. So it's equal to minus 4 pi v0 beta cube by 2 alpha plus 1 whole square. So I got all integration term now. I just uh, substitute this all term in expectation of h that is energy I, I will get c equal to minus h cut square by 2 mu is a which uh, this term is a minus h cut square by 2 mu that's minus h cut square 2 mu into first integral and minus h cut square by 2 mu into second integral and minus 4 pi v0 beta q by 2 alpha plus 1 square divided by that term pi beta q by alpha q and just take a reciprocal of this denominator and multiply with all terms the many terms we are going to cancel the remaining term is h cut square alpha square 2 mu beta square 
minus 4 v0 alpha q by 2 alpha plus 1 oh, please check oh, I think I made mistake here right? this 2 will not be there I mistake that Okay, all of the others are same. Okay, uh, so this is the energy now or expectation of H. I got an answer. So, in variational principle, the next aim we need to minimize the energy with respect to the parameter, variable parameter. I Here I took alpha as a variable parameter. So, I need to find dou E by dou alpha, dou E by dou alpha to minimize and we could equate it with a zero. So, while doing this one, first term uh, differentiation and second term differentiation so first term is very easy second term there is a quotient rule is there so you can find that quotient rule so you may get uh, if you want i can find it oh, 2 alpha denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator by denominator square and just rearranging some terms uh, I'm not going to do that one. You can do oh, it's very, a very simple one. So I give it an exercise while differentiating uh, this term with respect to alpha. I'm going to get an answer um, for v0 to alpha plus 3 alpha square by 2 alpha plus 3 all cube. So it's very simple. So please do that one. Now I'm going to differentiate and equate with a zero. It's become h cut square alpha mu beta square minus this term minus 4 v0 2 alpha plus 3 alpha square by 2 alpha plus 3 all q is equal to 0. Here I'm going to introduce a new constant. Uh, so this can return as h cut square alpha by mu beta square is equal to 4 v0 2 alpha plus 3 alpha square by 2 alpha plus 3 all q. So I define a uh, thing is that hmm, okay. Okay, this is equal to 2 mu v0 beta square at 2 alpha plus 3, 1 2 alpha plus 3 is there, 2 alpha plus 3 square is there, 1 will cancel and sorry, somewhere I made mistake now. Huh? This is 2 alpha plus 1. The numerator is become, uh, denominator it become 2 alpha plus 1. All cube. And here also, so it's become 2 alpha plus 1. So here 2 alpha plus 1 cube. So 2 mu v0 beta square by h cut square. The remaining is what? 2 alpha plus 1 all cube by 2 alpha 2 alpha plus 3 yeah so this much constant I call as a gamma square gamma square so now gamma square is equal to 2 alpha plus 1 all cube by 2 alpha into 2 alpha plus Okay, so this is a corresponding alpha value, which is the value of alpha corresponding to minimum energy. Minimum energy 
minimum energy the uh, alpha is a variational parameter so the corresponding so minimum energy uh, al the corresponding alpha to the minimum energy is this much so we can return as e now because we e we already we found here h cut square alpha so substitute this alpha in this equation so it's become h cut square by 2 mu beta square it become alpha square minus 8 mu v0 alpha cube beta square by 2 alpha plus 1 or square and substitute this one here 2 mu v0 here will come uh, in this this one I have a 2 mu v0 beta square this 2 mu v0 beta square is nothing but uh, gamma square into h cut square so we know gamma square is what so gamma square is this much so substitute that value here and the remaining is so that's become h cut square gamma square is 2 alpha plus 1 all cube by all cube by 2 alpha by 2 alpha plus 3 substitute this here and this equation become e is equal to h cut square by 2 mu beta alpha square minus uh, the remaining is what 2 I took here so there is a 4 is here 4 alpha cube is here 2 mu v0 beta square plus square then h cut square the remaining is 2 alpha plus 1 cube by 2 alpha into 2 alpha plus just oh, cross multiply this equation and simplifying you getting a energy that corresponding energy should be minimum because this alpha value is which correspond to minimum i end up with an equation 2 mu beta square here beta square is here. alpha square 2 alpha minus 1 by 2 alpha plus 3. so this is the minimum energy for a deuteron atom so this way you can find the ground state energy for the deuteron atom using the variation principle so i hope you understood this one please go through this note once again and you can get a good idea please make a note on this one so please watch video again and again go through some textbook also um this is the So here main thing is alpha, beta, h cut everything is constant and that's all. Thank you. Thank you.